the entire world be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time. Congratulations to all the Olympic athletes from all across this world. You've done it. Your country is proud of you. You have done something that less than 1% of the population globally gets to do in their lifetime. And I want to say thank you. And I also want to recognize how God has impacted your performance, has impacted the way you are acting out in the Olympics. First person I would like to discuss is Sha'Carri Richardson. Sha'Carri Richardson from Dallas, Texas, from Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas, Dallas Carter, Carter Cowboys. Yes, I'm from Oak Cliff. I went to Kimball High School. Carter Kimball, mm, you know. Sha'Carri has done a phenomenal job in her performances from summer track, high school, college, through the professional ranks. And if anybody has had the opportunity to see Sha'Carri Richardson run from a young age all the way through to her professional career, she is a phenomenal athlete. And she gives God praise. She recognizes how God has impacted her life. She runs with the Holy Spirit. And it is evident because she is who she is. And that makes her one of the best track and field athletes of our generation. Though she is young, can you imagine how much more elevated Sha'Carri is going to be as every athlete develops over time? She is growing and blossoming and you can see that God is in her and that she runs with the Holy Spirit. She looks fear in the eye because she understands that fear is an acronym standing for faith, evaluated, analyzed, refined. And that's what she goes out and does. She looks fear in the eyes, filled with faith, she studies her tapes, she evaluates and analyzes and refines her race. Noah Lyles, another that runs with the Holy Spirit, that runs with God, that grabbed the hem of Jesus Christ. Somebody who is willing to wrestle with God, just like Jacob, Fred Curley, Noah Lyles. These men run with the Holy Spirit. They give God praise. They recognize what God has done in their life, even though they do it in two different fashions. We must understand that no allows is not cocky. No allows is confident. There is a difference between cockiness and confidence. And I love Fred Curley. I'm a Southern man myself. Don't have to say too much, but we get the job done. And you can see God within Fred when he lines up in the blocks. You can see Fred focused, giving God praise when he is in the blocks. You can hear Noah Lyles, but you have to understand what is in his mind and what he is saying. You hear these athletes crossing the line, giving God praise. So what makes you think that they're not giving God praise as they run? Gabby Thomas, another athlete that runs with the Holy Spirit, who runs as if she recognizes that she is in the palm of God's hand. And if you are in the palm of God's hand, that means you move at God's speed. Ask Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni. Ask her. Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni runs as if she is in the palm of God's hand. She moves at God's speed. Sydney McLaughlin Ravoni runs as if she understands that she is a vessel of God and God works through her. That is understanding what the image and the likeness of God is within you. These athletes run as if they are looking fear right in the eye. The phrase fear not appears in the Bible exactly 365 times. And look at the way they run. Look at those hurdles. Masai Russell is running. 
Miss Johnson is running. Miss Stark is running. These athletes are clearing hurdles. 100 meter hurdles. Sydney McLaughlin is running the longest sprint race over hurdles. And she is able to perform how an other athlete would perform without hurdles. And she's not focused on that. She is focused on what she is doing. She's focused on it. It is as if she's waking up in the morning and renewing her mind within God. It is like Noah Lyles is going every day to consecrate himself. It is like Shakari Richardson is finding a way to not bury her tokens. She's finding a way to go down that straight and narrow path. We have to be able to see this as an example because God is in the Olympics. Look at the reaction of people from all across the world because of these athletes and many more. To see Cole Hawker run as if he has no guile and run as if he could not stop to see Cole Hawker run as if he was wrestling with God, as Jacob wrestled with God. All of these athletes have looked fear in the face and have defeated it. We have to use that as an example in our own lives. Some of these athletes have suffered loss, tragedy, and they have gone out and still maintain their discipline within their discipline. We have to use that and see that God is there, right there in the Olympics, as God is in the Olympics of life. These athletes are more than athletes. They are vessels of God. And they recognize that they are vessels of God and God is using them and they allow God to continue to use them, even if that means they have to slice away people, slice away habits, slice away time from the things that they would want to do. We can do the same within our own personal life. We have to realize that we were made in the image and in the likeness of God. And that once we achieve a goal, do we move on to the next goal? Or do we take time to think and ask God, what is it that you have for me next? And then plan strategically for our lives and move forward. Because if we don't plan strategically for our lives, life was strategically planned for us. We have to be able to see that. And to see these athletes go out there time after time after time and give it all they have. Can you honestly say that you're giving it all you have in your personal life at your job? Are you giving it your all? That's what it's about. It doesn't matter if you sit at a desk. No one's expecting you to go out to an oval and sprint 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, or clear hurdles or do the long jump like Jasmine Moore. We don't expect that. God doesn't expect that from you. He has Jasmine Moore to do the long jump while she gives God praise. God might have us to do different things. I have a fully disabled son and I'm a chef. And also as a chef, I make sure I focus in and specialize cooking for people with disabilities, senior citizens, people with health issues. So I know I am within my arena. I am on my track, running the race full speed with the Holy Spirit in me, giving God praise as I do my job. So when someone says, good job, Trevon, I get to say, first and foremost, I like to give God praise. All glory goes to God. I didn't do anything. I'm just a vessel. I get to say that. Just as Sydney McLaughlin Ravoni gets to say that. Just as Shakari gets to say that. Just as Noah Fred gets to say that. 
Cole Hawker gets to say that. And every other Olympic athlete, Katie Ledecky gets to say that. Jordan Childs gets to say that. These athletes, all of them, no matter their age, no matter if you are in BMX bike, you are doing something and you are keeping God first place. You are bringing this world together right now. You, Shakari Richardson, are doing a phenomenal job bringing this world together. Look at what you are doing. This is not to add pressure onto you, no allowance. This is to give you praise because you deserve praise because you've gone out, Fred Curley, and you have shown the world that you are disciplined, you are humble, and you have no guile, Miss Sydney McLaughlin Ravoni, that you are God's child, Alasia Johnson. Grace Stark, Messiah Russell, you are that. We have to see in our lives that we are that too. And when someone doesn't give you a pat on your back, you keep moving forward. So I just want to say congratulations to all you Olympic athletes. I want to say I noticed that you are running with God. I want to say I noticed that you are running in the palm of God's hand. I want to say to all you Olympic athletes that you are chosen and that you are the light and that you are shining bright, that you are having a positive impact on this entire globe, all of you Olympic athletes. Unfortunately, I can't say everyone's name, but all of you Olympic athletes, you are doing it. You are doing it. Congratulations to you and thank you for giving me encouragement, me motivation to know that I can continue to take care of my fully disabled son along with my wife and all the surgeries he's had. That I can continue to press forward and care for senior citizens and continue to cook healthy meals for them and extend their lives. That I can help this world out spiritually by your physical performance I have gained these things from you, Shakari Richardson. I have gained this from you, Noah Lyles. I have gained this from you, Miss Johnson, down there in H-Town. I have gained this from you, Simone Biles, down there in H-Town. Jordan Childs, down there in H-Town. I've gained this from you that has given me inspiration and motivation to know that I can continue to do what I need to do. Yes, all of these athletes are much younger than I am, but it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about seeing someone and seeing them press forward to see Shakari Richardson's grandmother in the stands, her aunt in the stands, giving God praise. Don't you sense that? Don't you feel that from the McLaughlin, Lavroni family? that they are giving God praise. They are worshiping the Lord. That Noah Lyle's family is worshiping God. That all of these families have made sacrifices, long suffering and forbearance. We should use that as a catalyst for our own lives. That we also have long suffering and forbearance. And just because we are not in front of the camera does not mean that we don't have it. And I'm pretty sure these athletes would tell you that. You are a motivation to them because they see you get up every day, go to work, do the things that you're doing. Keep doing it. Keep staying focused. Gabby Thomas, looking into neuroscience, global health, world health. I have a son with a condition called polymicrogyria, which is a very rare brain neurological condition that right there touched my heart because my son has a neurological condition he has seizures on top of that too so to see an athlete a black woman from harvard down here in texas training and doing everything she's doing and still making time Woo! for her career. You go. Because there are parents like me of fully disabled children who do have neuro disorders that are supporting you. 
that believe in you, that are pushing for you. And it's so beautiful to see that you are thinking beyond your current situation. You are planning strategically for your life and not letting life strategically plan for you. Keep doing everything that you are doing. Keep showing the world why you all are in Paris. All y'all, why y'all in Paris? Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Katie Ledecky, all of the other swimmers, all of the other medal winners, our winner in golf, our winner in the surfing competition, 20 years old. Seeing all of these athletes honoring God and honoring their family is a phenomenal thing. So you keep going, United States of America. We're here for you. So when you come back home, just understand that if no one's giving you the love you think you need, I'm telling you, you have a big support system. There are a lot of people like me who just love the fact that you are doing the things that you are doing. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't let that 1% of naysayers cause you to stop. I know it's not going to cause you to stop because you've been doing you for many years and you're going to keep doing who you are. I believe that. I know that. I just want to let you know that we support you here in the United States of America. And I can see God in you. I can see God in you. And you about to get on the track and you're going to let it go. You're going to get on the basketball court and you're going to let them shots fly. Y'all going to bring home more gold medals. You're going to hand that baton off when the relay come. Stick. Mm. Four by four. Ha. Hand up. I just love that four by four hand up. Ha. Just do it. Keep doing the things you're doing. Just do it. God bless you. Let us say a prayer for all of our Olympic athletes. Our Father, who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our personal Lord and Savior, individually and collectively. By the way of the grace, the mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, God, we recognize you here and now, and we give you praise, God. God, we thank you for using our vessels, Father, our bodies, Father, our minds, Father, and Father, we would ask that you would bless all of the Olympic athletes to understand that they are your vessel, Father. That they were made in your image and in your likeness and they are in the palm of your hand so that they realize they will move at God's speed. Ignite that kindling, Father, into a full-blown combustible fire, Father. Let them understand, Father, that their feet are shall move as if their feet are wheels, Father. They shall be able to inhale and exhale, Father. They shall be able to move those arms. They shall be able to drive out the blocks. They shall be able to clear the hurdles. They shall be able to take the steps that are required and strategically placed before them and cross that line, Father, giving you praise the entire time, God, and letting the world know that God is here and God is within them. Them. We want to thank you, Father, for allowing them to stay whole, to stay healthy, to stay free, and to stay within their own selves, not worried about anybody else, Father. Let them continue to stay focused on the assignment you have for them, God, and that's all they worry about, God. For these and many other blessings, we will continuously pray in the word and blood of your darling son, Jesus Christ, the Nazareth, by way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, God, we recognize you and praise you and thank you, Father, for blessing these athletes, Father, to bring home the gold, the silver, the bronze, Father. For we do understand that if the United States of America had the Olympics set up as a track meet, Father, we do realize that the United States of America would win the gold medal for the entire track meet, Father. But we do realize the Olympics is not set up like that. So, Father, let us bring home all the medals we can to the United States of America because God has truly blessed us. Amen, amen, and amen. And it is okay if you are not from the United States of America. I am praying for your athletes too as well. This is not personal. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time.